In this video, consider one numerical on mesh analysis. Find I1, I2 and I3 using mesh analysis. This is the given circuit. In this circuit, we have three loops and three loop contains I1, I2, I3 currents. We are supposed to find I1, I2, I3 currents. Let me name the nodes. Let this be A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Say H. Here A, B, H, F, G, A is the loop in which current I1 is flowing. In loop B, C, D, H, I2 is flowing. In loop H, D, E, F, H where I3 is flowing. The current in loop I1 that is loop I1 is nothing but A, B, H, F, G, A. So here we can see that there is a current source of 15 amp. Therefore, directly we can say that I1 is equal to 15 amp because it contains purely a current source. Therefore, current through in this loop is 15 amp. Now we will concentrate on loop I2. So now in this circuit, we can see that in between node F and H, there is a dependent current source that is voltage dependent current source of magnitude Vx by 9. This current is common to two loops that is loop I1 and I3. Therefore, the first thing is we have to analyze this current source as it is common to two loops that is analyze current source Vx by 9 that is I can write current Vx by 9 is equal to here current I3 is flowing from F to H whereas current I1 is flowing from H to F. So I3 and I1 are opposite to each other. One more thing is I3 and Vx by 9 are in same direction. So I can write Vx by 9 is equal to I3 minus I1. I will call it as I will call this as equation 1, this as equation 2 where Vx is voltage across 3, 3 ohm register. That we will consider later. Now we will apply KVL to the remaining loop that is BCDHB. That is apply KVL to loop BCDHB. That is loop I2. So here we can see that there are no any voltage sources in this loop. I can say that 0 is equal to. Now let me go in this direction. In between C and D there is a 2 ohm register that is voltage across 2 ohm register is 2I2 plus voltage across 3 ohm register is 3 into I2 Now current I2 flows through 3 ohm register. In 3 ohm register there is a one more current I3 is flowing. Therefore voltage across 3 ohm register is 3 into I2 minus I3 because I2 and I3 are opposite to each other plus the voltage across 1 ohm register is in 1 ohm register current I1, I2 is flowing as well as current I1 is flowing. So now we suppose to write it as 1 into I2 minus I1 because I2 and I1 are opposite to each other as we are in I2 loop we are supposed to give preference to I2. Simplifying this I can write 2I2 plus 3I2 minus 3I3 plus I2 minus I1. Simplifying this further I can write minus I1 plus 6i2 minus 3i3. I will call it as equation 3. Now here we can see that Vx is voltage across 3 ohm register. So now I can write Vx is equal to voltage across 3 ohm register. Here we can see that the polarity is plus here 
the polarity is plus here and minus here. It means that current entering the resistor is always positive. So I will consider Vx is equal to 3 into I3 minus I2. That is 3 into I3 minus I2. So therefore, equation 2 can be written as So, what is equation 2? Vx by 9 is equal to I3 minus I1. That is, Vx by 9 is equal to I3 minus I1, where Vx is nothing but 3 I3 minus, that is 3 I3 minus I2 divided by 9 is equal to I3 minus I1. Simplifying this, I can write this is I3 minus I2 divided by 3 is equal to I3 minus I1. So simplifying this, I can write I3 minus I2 is equal to 3I3 minus 3I1. So simplifying this further, I can write, I'll take this 3I1 left side, it will become plus 3I1. Here we have minus I2 plus I3. And here we have minus 3i3 is equal to 0. So simplifying this, I can get 3i1 minus i2. So i3 minus 3i3, that is minus 2i3 is equal to. So further I can simplify this one as, and continue here. We have from equation 1, I1 is equal to 15 amp. Let's substitute I1 in this equation so that I can write 3 into 15 minus I2 minus 2I3 is equal to 0 or I can write 45 is equal to, I will send these two terms on right side, I2 plus 2I3. I will call it as equation 4. Now similarly in equation 3 I can substitute I1 value, I can simplify this further as 0 is equal to minus 15 plus 6I2 minus 3I3 or I can write it as, I will take this 15 on left side, I can write 15 is equal to 6I2 minus 3I3, I will call it as equation A. Now solving equation A and equation 4, we can get I2 and I3 value. That is now solving equation A and equation 4. So we can solve these two equations directly using calculator. So here I will get I2 is equal to 11 amps and I3 is equal to 17 amps and anyhow I1 is equal to 15 amps. So this is the loop currents I1, I2 and I3. Thank you for watching.